Hello guys, so today we are solving this problem maximum width ramp. So let's read the question. A ramp is an integer array nums. So uh, uh, an integer array is given to us and there are indexes like i and j. So if i is less than j, this is index, right? And the nums i, the value sitting at i is less than or equal to j. Then the width would be uh, j minus i, right? So any condition that is fulfilling that we have to find all the j minus i and we have to find the biggest value out of this array. So we can take this example for better clarification. So let me uh, write it down here and observe this is our array. Okay. And this array has these are the values and these are the indexes. So if we observe here, let's say take the index 0. Okay. So i would be our 0. Right. And let's say text uh, the index uh, here, this j equal to uh, for example 8 this guy j equal to 2 right so we can see clearly here that uh, this guy aj right aj is greater than or equal to uh, basically the a of i right that means our condition is getting fulfilled here so if our condition is getting fulfilled here what we can do we can find the j minus i so what will be the j minus i it is 2 minus 0 okay so here we got one value as 2 right we got one value 2 with this uh, index 0 and index 2. So this is one condition, there could be multiple conditions. For example, we can take 0, right, the, the guy sitting at index 1 and the guy sitting at index, uh, uh, all of them are valid, right, this also, this is a, also a greater value, this is also a greater value, this is also a greater value, but this is the, uh, this is also one of the greater value. So if we take the difference of all of them, we will find that 5 minus 1, okay, the index sitting at 5 and the index with the 0 would be basically giving us 5 minus index of this 0 which is 1. So 5 minus 1. So 4 is the biggest value in the current uh, uh, this array. Right. So out of all those values we, we found this guy as the maximum difference. Okay. So this is what we have to do. Now we have various approaches to do that. One is the like we can go for brute force approach like we are checking for this guy. So we will go ahead in the right side. So obviously all of them would be greater than this i. And we will check which guy is making the biggest difference. The, any guy who is greater than this uh, uh, this value 6, they will check and we will find the difference. But in this way, if we do, we will take the O of n square and we want a better approach. So to do the better approach, we will have to do some, uh, some logic, right? So one of the logic is like we can use a stack, right? We can put it all the indexes which are uh, greater than every time and uh, we can pop out in that way from the right side but uh, I will go in the two pointer approach okay you can read about the stack approach but two pointer approach is a bit more faster than the stack one so I am taking the two pointer approach so guys this time what what I am doing is I have taken a different example let's say this is my nums array okay now what we have to do is uh, this is my nums array and I have taken uh, we are starting from this guy right but before going to that nums array basically our approach is first of all we will find a a uh, right max array right max array i mean to say that uh, at every index what would be the right side maximum value so for example this is this guy is very first guy on the right side right so this there is nothing on right side so this one itself would be the greatest value in the right side correct now we'll come to this guy four so what is the right side greatest including itself so four and one what is the maximum four is basically maximum so this value would be four now we'll come to this pointer. This is zero, right? So what is the right, right max? Right side maximum is the four. So we'll put four here. Now we'll go to the next pointer. So this is here, four. So what is the maximum? Four and four maximum is four itself. Now we're coming to this point. Nine and four maximum would be what? Maximum would be nine. Okay. Now we'll come to this pointer. This is one and maximum is nine. So one and nine. So what will be the maximum? Nine itself. Again, we are coming this guy 0 and right max is 9. So we will compare it. So 9 again would be the answer here. Again, we are coming at 1. So uh, 1 and right max is 9. So 9 would be here. Now this is 8. Right? This is 8 and right max is 9. So this would also be 9 only. Now finally, this is 9 and right max is also 9. So anyway, maximum still would be 9. So this is our max array. This is we just created. Okay. We need it. Why do we need it? I will tell you. Okay. So now our thing is we have to start checking for the uh, all the indexes, right? That what value they are producing. Okay. 
so for example we are starting left equal to zero left is basically this guy right initially this guy so we will what we will do is we will keep on checking that up to what point the values in max are greater than this value right so let's say we start from here okay this is less than uh, greater than equal to yes this is also greater than equal to this guy right at least equal to so both conditions are matching right you can see here uh, it is mentioned that uh, uh, this should be greater than or equal to see here nums i should less than or equal to nums j okay so for that reason i am doing it here so this guy anyway this guy is greater than this guy yeah this is also greater than equal to this is also greater than equal to when left is zero right remember we are starting from zero so this is also greater than zero greater than zero like that so till here we will get and this is greater than zero then we will keep on increasing let's say we are calling this pointer as right okay so uh, initially right was zero right we started checking from very first so we started from here then we will keep on going keep on going keep on going but we will reach here this is also matching condition then we will keep on going so it will finally reach here now our condition would be stopped here because this guy is basically smaller than nine right so we are at this guy so let me put the indexes of them so see here i have just put the all the indexes now here so b we, we stopped at six right so what would be the j minus i here so j is basically the right okay so let's call it right so what is the right minus left here so right minus left is equal to basically the it would be six minus zero right we ended at here now you know because this is six so we have to make it six minus one because our any way our condition was matching till here but due to our condition it 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 was stopped here but anyway we need the difference from last matching till the start one so uh, right minus left minus one should be our actual value so what it would be six minus zero minus one right so six minus zero minus one basically it is becoming five so so far we have got our answer as five right now uh, next thing is we have to check for this guy correct now if i start checking from here itself there is no point right otherwise it will take any square what is the point no point then from where we should start here in this max array from where we should start to check it so because so far we have got five okay and we are looking for the maximum value correct so at least it should have at least value six right because till five we have anyway found so there is no point of checking for the lesser values so where would we start where we will get the value it should be at least six so in this way what will happen first of all our left would become to this guy right so this will become left plus one so one right now what should be the pointer where we should start checking so this is five only right so far we have found the five so we have to start from a point which will at least create the six or six or greater value so where it would be it would be uh, whatever value of left so left plus whatever max whatever value we have found so far we found five right let's say we are calling max well so we found five so left plus whatever max well we found plus one okay because we are starting with the difference which will create at least uh, whatever we found at least bit one greater than that correct so left plus max so it would be one plus what we found max is five plus one okay so this is making seven now i'll tell you why why i have done this because now you check let's say we match the condition at seven so if we do seven minus left value one then only it, it is at least creating the six value because anyway we are finding the greatest value correct so for that reason what i did whatever left value and whatever max we found plus one that should be our checking point means our right should be this is basically our right pointer so our right pointer we should start checking from here left plus max plus one which is seven so where it would be we have to start checking from here otherwise if we check here it wouldn't create a greater value right and we are looking for greater value so now we will keep on checking so this guy is eight right this is guys is eight and we are starting from here so hey is this greater no this is not greater at all right so we don't have to go ahead our answer itself not satisfying this condition so not a problem then what to do 
then we will go for this guy so now left become what left become 2 again we will put the values here so so far max is 5 only so 2 plus 5 plus 1 okay so what it would be 2 plus 5 plus 1 it will give us 8 right so now we have to start checking from here okay so see here this is 1 this guy is greater than 1 so yeah keep on going again this is greater than or equal to only so that is also keep on going but so far then our thing would be start so what would be here our right our right is basically becoming 9 okay so what would be our answer here our answer would be whatever max value so far we found we found 5 so 5 and who is the max in right minus this is our right so right minus left okay so what is the right here so this is our 5 and uh, our right is basically 9 and our this thing is uh, 2 right so 5 and 9 minus 2 so what would be the max of these two this is 5 this is 7 so 7 would be answer so you can check it see here we are uh, checking for this guy okay this guy and ending at here this is giving us biggest difference you can also check here that if we make the difference of this guy is basically the less than or equal to right so equality is also allowed allowed so that is why it is giving us the 9 minus 2 which is basically our answer 7 the maximum answer so in this way we are doing the skipping okay so it looks like we are using for loop or uh, two while loop it looks like as if it is n square but actually it is time complexity o of n only so I hope it should be very clear now. Let me show you my corresponding code for it. So see here, this is my code. So first of all, this is my right max, which I just created. And see here, uh, initially I put the very last character equal to the same last character, right? We just did for this thing, right? This is very last guy, right? So we put it in the right max as it is because nothing is there on the right side of it okay so see here that is thing that is the part i am doing at this step now we are starting from the second uh, or last location that right max i equal to math dot max of right max i plus one and num psi okay it's uh, as simple as that right we started from comparing from here to here then we are here to here every time we are comparing whoever is the maximum we are basically uh, uh, putting that value Okay, so that thing I am done. I am just for, uh, fulfilled the right max array. Now see, I have created the left left equal to zero and right equal to zero and max value which we gonna calculate. Okay, so see here, I've just put the while right is less than n because anyway, we are uh, traversing with the right to check in the right max. Here we were checking, right? Right is equal to zero, then we were starting. So now what we will do is, uh, we will check here. So while right is less than uh, n and another while loop we are using while right is less than n and nums left is less than or equal to right max of right. Okay. Same we did here. We are checking like we started with the 9 and we started here that whoever is greater than or equal to. So same equality I had used there. Okay. So in this case we are going to write plus plus we are making. Now see here what we are doing. I am checking the max well equal to math dot max of max well and right minus left minus one you understand why i use minus one just like value here right we will keep on going but uh, our right pointer came till here right but we have to our uh, last matching condition was till here only so that is why i am making minus one to uh, reflect it correctly okay so that is why i have used it here minus one then after doing this we got this max well and then we are making the left plus plus left plus plus means we are going for the next guy like after completion for the nine we are going for this guy eight okay now after coming to the next guy what we are doing here this is my skipping correct skipping or uh, step so what i did is right equal to left plus max plus one so whatever is the left value plus whatever max value we have so far got plus one because we want we are looking for the greater values because max well for example five we already found so we should start from from an index in the right 
max value which will give a greater value for example you can clearly visualize here when we started with the 9 we found the value till here right we found the value till here which was making basically 5 then we are coming to this point now we are looking which will make at least the value which should be greater than equal to 5 greater than 5 so 6 so that is why we did this thing right so uh, for that reason i am using this guy right equal to left plus max value plus 1 so that it will at least produce a greater value which we already found max value so that is why we are skipping here that many of characters so ultimately even when we have a while loop and inside a uh, another while loop still it is not n square it is o of n only and finally we would have this max value so let me execute my code here i'm executing it yeah and let me try to submit it uh, thank you for watching this video if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you